mit dem Studio Mannheim aktuell informiert in den Abend. When formed into the evening with our studio. Thanks for being here with us again. The true face of the US government becomes more and more apparent. Up to now, US terror attacks under false flag, destabilization tactics, etc., could only be proven very laboriously, for example, through spied out telephone calls, as that of Victoria Newland, or directly involved eyewitnesses from war zones. Some days ago, Barack Obama uttered the accusations that have been brought against him like puzzle pieces now in open public. On Monday, September 8, 2014, the US president said that he would give a short account of his strategy against the terror group Islamic State, short IS. Barack Obama said, and I quote, we can't solve the problem in occupying one country after the other with US troops. The soldiers have to come from the region from Syria, from Iraq, supported by U.S. military intelligence and airstrikes. The U.S. were looking for moderate Sunni partners in the combat against the Sunni extremists of the Islamic State." End of quote. Don't we know this approach already from the countries of the so-called Arab Spring up to the Ukraine conflict? In his explaining the strategies, Obama furthermore explicitly excluded to send U.S. troops into this region. Already on Wednesday, September 10, 2014, Obama declared that he had the necessary powers to take military action against them and thus let the people understand that he would not let the Congress vote on his plans. And as many times before, he excluded explicitly to dispatch American troops to Iraq. Exactly one day later, on Thursday, September 11th, 2014, Barack Obama announced in his State of the Union address his most recent strategy of intensifying. I quote, Furthermore, the fight on the ground shall be intensified as well. 475 additional U.S. service members shall support troops in Iraq. And the Syrian opposition shall be equipped with arms as well. The often emphasized promise not to dispatch any further U.S. troops was actually nothing but a tactical lie. That this is so can be derived from the fact that the U.S. State Department sent off a concise documentary to their broadly supported alliance worldwide still on the same day. 38 countries are listed, including their elaborated declarations, what they want to contribute to the different air or ground troops in detail. That proves a very extensive preparatory work. And at this point we need to pay special attention. For the documentation sent to 38 different countries is, according to mainstream correspondence, about contributions like the delivery of weapons to opposition activists, but also about the training of troops of the opposition forces and humanitarian help, etc. In short, that is the same approach one could prove only in little bits and pieces in the US overthrow units kept in secret in all the crisis countries. We ask you, dear viewers, to compare the tactical approach of the US government time and again with our short tutorials like Modern Wars, How Do They Work? And if you put your focus especially on the fifth point, then you can easily understand on what level of tactical infiltration the crisis countries are to be found at this time. After Obama now does not want to fight officially all by himself anymore and is just developing his broad supported alliance, there is only little time left to prevent wars across different countries even into our regions. Because, as Barack Obama explained, the US would lead a broad coalition of states. He would not hesitate to give the command to more airstrikes both against IS destinations in Iraq as well as, and that is new, in Syria. That this same mentality will not stop before the gates of Russia should be obvious to every mediocre thinker. For, so says Obama, the one threatening the US will have no safe possibility of withdrawal anymore. Since their serious attempts to take down and ban free news portals like Klagomar TV, uh, we're like to ask all the discerned viewers to download our most important broadcasts in time, burn them on DVDs, and of course to incessantly spread them all over the world. 
And if there is at all still a possible way to avoid heavy transnational wars, then it is in the intensive promotion of awareness by every single person. That's why just you are needed. And no one say that he cannot accomplish anything alone. That is true on the one hand, but together we are many. Thank you for your partnership in the service of timely promoting the awareness and educating the nations. I wish you a still very sociable evening.